Hi everyone, this is a continuation of the previous video on conversion um, of units between one system of units and another system of unit or between two different units. And um, in the previous video I talked about this idea of converting between um, the imperial unit, the inch, uh, and the metric unit or the SI unit which is the meter. Here I want to talk about converting a unit that has an exponent to it. So for example, like a unit of area, for example, is squared meter, right? So I want to talk a little bit about how you can convert that, let's say, to uh, square inches, okay? So let's say your unit that you want to be able to get to at the end is um, square inches, okay? So you want to know how you can convert from meter square to uh, uh, inches square. The idea is the same really like this. What you have to do is you have to find conversion factors that would relate meter to the inch and we did that in the previous video. We found that a meter can be related to the foot and then the foot can be related to the inch, right? Now the only difference is that now because what you have to cancel is you have to cancel the squared meter. So you can't just write 3.28 uh, over 1 meter, 3.28 feet over 1 meter because if you just have that, then the only thing you'll cancel is the meter, but you wouldn't be able to cancel the other meter because you have two meters here. So what you have to do is you have to basically square this quantity. So that allows you to have a conversion between square feet and square meters, right? And as a result of that, when you want to convert it to square inches, you have to do the same thing. You have 12 inches per foot. You have to square that whole conversion factor as well so that the square feet would cancel with each other, leaving you with square inches, okay? So if you were to do that, what you get is the following, right? You're going to get uh, x times 3.28 squared, okay? So that's what I wrote here. And then you're going to get 12 squared times 12 squared. And that whole thing will be the answer to your um, question here, which is the square inches, okay? So you just have to remember that when you're trying to convert something that has exponent in it, you have to square the whole conversion factor or cube it depending on what conversion you're talking about you know if you're converting for volume then you have to cube it and sometimes you know the the other thing to, to remember is that sometimes this might be flip right so that means you're dividing let's say by 3.28 let's say you want to con uh, cancel out the feet instead of the meter then you would write one meter over 3.28 feet but then that would be squared so then you're dividing by the square or 3.28 square okay that's just something to keep in mind all right what I'm going to do now is kind of uh, talk about this question a little bit um, and figure out how to solve this problem, which is a problem about unit conversion. It says here that, it, you know, the average house in the U.S. Uh, uses about 30 kilowatt hours. So this is a unit that maybe is new to a lot of you. Um, it's a, a way we measure how much um, electricity we use, uh, basically, in terms of um, hour. Uh, hourly use. So this is what we call kilowatt hour, so the amount of power we use. Uh, so in this case it says that per day the house, the average house uses about 30 kilowatt hour. The cost of electricity in the LA area is uh, about 20.3 cents per kilowatt hour. This is something I just found out online um, from a government website. And so the question is how much would your monthly, uh, monthly electricity bill uh, B if you live in LA, okay, using these numbers. So the first thing you want to think about is just, well, what is, you know, what am I solving for? What unit am I solving for in the end? Okay, so I'm going to work this out. Okay, so let's think about that problem again. And um, if you forget what it was, you can always pause the video and go back, uh, take a look at what I said about the problem earlier, okay? But the idea here is that you want to calculate the cost of your electricity consumption in one month, right? So if you think about it, what you're looking for in your final unit is something like dollar, right? How much, how much things are going to cost, okay, which is dollar in one month, right? So a unit that looks something like that, okay? Now, in order to get at that, the information that you're given is the following. You have a couple of units that are given to you. One is you know that there is 30 kilowatt hours per day. That's what the house use. And then the cost of the uh, electricity is 20.3 cents per uh, kilowatt hour. Okay? 
So the question is how do we use these and other units that might be other conversion factors that might be necessary to get at dollar per month. Now you can think about it. There's a couple of things you need to do, right? First is you need to see how day relates to month. So that's one conversion you need to come up with, right? Because there, there's a relationship between these two. And you also need to know how dollar relates to cent, okay? So if you have those, then you should be able to solve the problem. So let's think about how that would work. Well, 30 kilowatt hour per uh, day, and think about it, there is um, 30 days on a typical month. Let's say there's some months there's 31, but let's just choose 30 for now. 30 days in one month, right? So that means you're set now. Now you have your month at the bottom, right? Because you're going to cancel these days out. And then we, the other unit we have is, of course, this cent unit, 23 uh, cent per kilowatt hour, okay? That's going to cancel our kilowatt hour, as you can see here. But then the what's remaining, okay, so let me just cancel a couple of these things out here so things get a little easier to see. The only thing that remains now is cent over month, but we want dollar over month, so we want a relationship between dollar and cent where the cent is at the bottom, right, because I want to cancel that, and I want dollar at the top, okay? Now, of course, we know that every one dollar is a hundred cents, so that allows me to cancel out that as well. So if you see what happens at the end is I'm left with dollar over month, which is exactly what I'm looking for, okay? So then what you need to do is just kind of do the calculation on your calculator, which is 30 times 30 times 20.3 divided by 100. And if you do that, what you're going to get is 18 27 dollars per month. Okay, it's the cost of electricity. Okay, so that's just a, a quick example of, you know, how you can uh, work through a particular unit conversion problem. And these are not units that necessarily you um, know, right, like days per month. This is something I, I would expect you to know because they're, they're fairly straightforward. But sometimes you might need to find units on a textbook. Uh, in fact, in the uh, online questionnaire that you're assigned, you'll have to go out, either find uh, unit conversion, conversion factors from a textbook or unit conversion factor from online sources. So a lot of things we do in the sciences, you know, in chemistry specifically, uh, is look for references. So uh, you have to be very comfortable in going to the internet and look up references. Now you have to make sure the references are, are you know legitimate but one of the things you'll learn over time is as you look at more and more references you start to know what references are trustworthy and what references are not. But in terms of you know getting unit conversions you pretty much can get it from anywhere um, on the internet. Okay? Alright.